of your life. After going to college like everyone else, and then going to more school after that, you finally receive a master's degree in something you love. Soon you're a qualified physician with license to practice, and everything seems to be working out right. Then all of a sudden, your whole life is turned upside down. You lose everything, your house is gone, most of your possessions are lost, and you are now unemployed. You are in a position you never could have imagined you'd be in, and now you must survive. This could happen to you because this is a true story. This happened to a man interviewed by a newspaper in Louisiana in 2011. He had his life set, but lost everything in a matter of days. The problem is that there is too many homeless people in the United States. Homelessness is happening. As referenced by America Magazine on March 1, 2010, the number of families in homeless shelters is increasing. In one year, the number grew from 473,000 to 517,000. And in suburbs, the amount of homeless people increased by about 10%. As said in an article from The Reading Teacher, published in 2008, homelessness occurs to everyone, including young children. 550,000 families that include children are homeless. There are 13 million children living in the United States that are living in poverty. Some are homeless and others are very close. Reported by the Immersed Age Wilder Foundation in October 2012, Homelessness is one is on the rise everywhere and even in Minnesota. There are roughly 10,214 homeless people living in Minnesota today. 46% of the homeless people are 21 years old or younger. The foundation also said that 1,151 1, youth people, just like you and I, are living homelessly. According to a report from the National Alliance to End Homelessness on January 17, 2012, in 24 states, the population of homeless people has increased. The previous source also said that the federal government spent $1.5 billion in an effort to prevent recession-related increase in homelessness. Stated by America Magazine, homelessness is caused by natural disasters, wars, and foreclosing of houses. The effects of homelessness are extremely costly. The National Alliance to End Homelessness said that the government provides some medical care, shelters and food for some homeless people, and the price is high. In a report from the reading teacher, it is stated that homeless children struggle to get an education at all. 75% of children perform below average grade level. Some homeless children are at risk for physical, social, and behavioral problems later on in life. According to an article in the UPI News Check newspaper, which was published on April 17, 2011, everyone is at risk of becoming homeless, even a physician who lost both licenses and is now homeless. America Magazine says that people who have nothing to lose may resort to extreme ways to obtain what they need, which might mean stealing or violence. I need you to help out with fixing this problem. First, you'll need to find a shelter that is close to you. The Salvation Army is in St. Cloud. The Dream Center is also in St. Cloud. You'll need to go through your possessions and any items that you do not need can be donated to a shelter. Food donations are extremely important because they are always in need of food. Clothes that don't fit or have no use for you can be donated as well. Once you have items that can be donated, you will need to bring them to the shelter. If you have any questions regarding the donating process, you should call the shelter. Once your dona donations are received, they will be given to those people that are in need of such items. Your donations can help in many different ways. The food that you donate could potentially be the difference between life and death for someone who is homeless. The clothes that you donate could help reduce the suffering that these people have to deal with every day. After donating the first time, you will feel good about yourself and there is no limit to how much you can donate. Things will get much worse, worse if you do not follow my plan. If food donations aren't made, then more people will suffer from starvation. This could lead to more people dying and starvation kills everyone even babies and small children. Without your donations, homeless children will continue to go through life without an education, and people will continue to resort to stealing and violence if they do not receive the necessities uh, they need. I need, your help to, uh, I need your help to make a difference. I need you to donate items that you don't need. Go to a shelter near you or call them if you have any questions. The Salvation Army's phone number is 320-252 Four five five two. The Dream Center's phone number is three two zero six five six one five five zero.
By donating your excess stuff, you could save someone from a lot of pain and suffering. With one minuscule action, you could save someone's life.